papers, I'm looking also at the value and, you know, not just what's on them, but the value. So here's a little bit of music. This has a yellowish paper, just observations. Um, do I have anything that's kind of this yellowish color? Oops, polka dots. <laughs> More music that has like this nice thick cover. The covers are great. So right now I'm looking at the cover. And this is meaning to me because I, I do believe I play out of this book when I was young. So that's kind of fun. There's a whale. Oh, that's so cute. Well, the whale. And I, I do believe I played um, from this book, so you know it has a lot of meaning to me. I mean, I played piano for so long, and uh, even like this, this is cool. A little guy, I mean, he's cute. I just remember that so much. So as I look at this, you know, like this little cover actually is kind of cool. And then when you sand this back, you know, you get all kinds of textures in there, which is cool. Hmm. I might just have to do that. And I've got all that cool stuff underneath, but this just really kind of hits me with, <laughs> it's a little sentimental. series with this book. It's really fun. I guess I could take, you know, just a, a little bit out of here. Okay, yes. This one has so much cool texture. I'm just thinking maybe. actually burn them fire anyway so if you want to lose this guy he's kind of important um, so maybe all I do is just like gel medium and even though it's again I could use a gloss medium but I'm just this is a, I'll get less paper rippling because this has less liquid in it so I'm further obliterating the painting sand this paper. This paper has, you know, imagery on the other side. So, um, I don't want to put any of the gel medium over the top because I want to lightly sand this paper. And if I put gel medium on the top, then as I sand it, it'll actually rip um, all of the interest, uh, like the imagery and the writing, the printing. 
it'll rip it off. So I'm just going to not put the gel medium on the top of that. And then I'm going to grab some parchment paper or newsprint like this. And just make sure that that's done. several paintings at a time. So now I've got, you know, all this and like this is now simple. That's pretty simple. This is a bit complex. So I might need to put something uh, over this and certainly this probably is not the way, but could be, you just never know. It could line up with that edge and then come down here. I think it's more about like, you know, I love stripes, I love red, I love black, I love this music, I love the dots. And even if it's a little quirky in terms of color, uh, I kind of like this strip. And I like stripes, I like patterns, so this kind of has a little bit of everything. Um, and this could be knocked out because that color, that has too much color there. But maybe. It's just there, just cut it off. So, again, I'm not really going to put um, the gel medium over the top because I'm going to want the sand. And again, if you put gel medium or any medium over the top of these papers, then if you sand, it'll tend to rip off much more of the, uh, the design, the text or whatever's on there, whatever is printed on there, than if you sand it first and then lock it in. So that's something I learned kind of the hard way. Like so many things. Here's some text. figure out how I want to rip this up. This could take some time if I use my left hand. Delete when you do it with your non-dominant hand, which is kind of the point. You get some very interesting marks. So this becomes mark making. It says I play the piano, I play the piano. I'm just going to keep writing this. I don't know how much of this will last in the final layer, but that's uh, important right now. I just feel inspired to write this down. I think that's probably enough text for there. And, uh,
Okay, so I'm, I just uh, cut this piece off and I'm just going to add uh, a little bit, I think, to complete this band because it feels, uh, let's see here, if I went like this, trying to figure out if these arrows have a direction, they're multi-directional. So some arrows go one way and some go the other way. Uh, what I'm trying to do is um, like the need to express imperfection is always part of my <laughs> my aesthetic. And so like at first I cut this off to be perfect, right? To to match up with this perfectly. And, and that's why I measured that. But then when I put it on, it's like, wow, that's, that's boring. So then I flip this around and it's like, okay, now it's not perfect. It doesn't line up perfectly. This uh, torn edge uh, goes above this and, and this doesn't. So I kind of like that. Okay, so now I'm going to tear this off. I'm just gonna like off the edge of the board here. I think I can tear that or at least bend it and then cut it. So I'm trying to, I'm gonna glue this down and then I'm gonna let this painting dry because it needs to dry before I can sand it. And the sanding will, I might, I, I could do a little painting, but I think for now, I mean, I might just paint this little area down here. That would go pretty fast. I think I was considering whether I would paint that, but now that I look at it, this relates to that. And these kind of feel like piano keys, so maybe I'll just leave that. Yeah, I think I'll just let this dry. Okay, so that's um, this piece. You can kind of see where it is right now. Um, it has a lot of things that I love. I love stripes, I love red, I love pattern, I love music, I love this little guy. Um, some handwriting which says I played the piano, I played the piano, and I used my non-dominant hand. And uh, the next step will be to sand this, and we'll see where we're at. So this is kind of part one. Thanks, everyone. And then I moved this one along too, uh, where I found that wonderful um, piano music and, and that one page I tore out and pretty much I glued that on intact. Um, then I added, with my left hand, I uh, wrote out this, uh, I played the piano so that it would look a little bit, you know, juvenile. Uh, that was the feeling that I wanted because uh, when I played piano when I was so young, that was, you know, a time of great joy. Uh, some pattern. Uh, I did sand it back a little bit. It's a little distressed and I left these bands because they kind of feel like piano keys without being too obvious. There's a bit of collage paper here and here and um, not sure how much more I'm gonna do to this because I, I really just like the simplicity of it. I, I think it's um, more of a, a piece that has meaning for me. I might knock out this area here if I do anything and I'm not sure about this little corner down here. I can see that going red just to simplify, but those are things that um, I will do as kind of the last steps. But this is pretty much where it's going to be. The, the, the bones are there. The structure is there. Any little embellishments I do are going to be pretty minor. Thanks everyone. Bye now.